All right, all right. I I wasn't gonna make a video today, but I figured I, <clears throat> sorry, I must, I have to. Can't just make them on the good days, right? No, making them on the bad days is essential, dude. Sometimes it freaking, I don't know, some of y'all let me know it really helps because we're all battling here and I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll see how this goes. This is, this is, I wrote, I actually wrote some things down. Uh, as you can see, yeah, I'm left handed, Dr. Evil. Okay. All right. Sorry. Um, all right, taking the bad days with the bad, I don't know, the good with the good, the bad with the da bad, the dad with the dad, 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 sorry. It's it's really hard for me to concentrate right now. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I got, yeah, I got a ton of anxiety. Um, that's just one thing, but taking the bad with the bad. Can have bad days. Can have bad days even if you're not coming off anything, but the day, well, the day wasn't bad. It wasn't like, bad things happened to me. It was like my car broke down or someone got hurt or died or whatever. It wasn't stressful really. I mean, there's some st what stuff this morning, but, uh, I don't know. Um, it's just what it is. Right. So it was a bad day. I felt like crap. I didn't sleep good at all. You know, it was just weird sleep, you know, uh, where you just, I don't know. It was that weird sleep where you drew uh, dude, all the dreams have gotten just trippy every worry that I have like deep in my heart like came to life and like every little freaking thing it was crazy you know I was like I don't know I'm not gonna get into it but some of them were like I was like what the heck like um but uh yeah I you know what I'm I, I look today so I'm, I'm eight days into cutting my uh Eight days into cutting my clonazepam in half I you know went from I know went from the two 2.5 down to the 1.125, the sorry. Uh, cut that in half. So, yeah, I knew this was coming. Uh, you know, when you first get, when I first taper, dude, uh, off of the benzo, uh, I noticed that it, like, you kind of, you know, I don't want to call it a pink cloud, but it kind of is like that where, like, things lift and I'm a little bit more woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. You know, there's anxiety and there's some stuff there, but but I'm a lot more, and then it, and then it kind of hits you and goes the other way. And I'm a manic depressive, so there you go. So double dose, right? But anyway, uh, so okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm freaking foggy. I can't freaking pay attention to hardly anyone, especially. I got to be talking about like serious stuff, or it's just like oh, it's so hard for me to really pay much attention and like to anything else. You know, like, like I did actually did me and this guy today at work, we're talking about, you know, God and stuff. And, and that was all good. That was like, got me going seriously talking about my channel. Yeah. I was checking out my channel and stuff, uh, and, or just, you know, talking about that and whatever. That was cool. That was great. You know? Um, but other than that, man, it's freaking hard. Like I want to get to the meat of things, you know, or else I'm just kind of like my whatever emotional i'm freaking emotional today um you know and, and trying to keep it together you know when i'm around other people you know at work and stuff uh don't really have much of an appetite kind of snacked i don't know I, I don't know dude this isn't a i don't know this isn't an update video i guess i don't know it is whatever the hell it, it's gonna be i guess this is me talking but yeah emotional freaking you know cry when i'm alone i freaking cry you know and some of it's probably worry. Some of it's just tapering off the benzo or whatever. All of the above. Um, you know, I remember this dude when I was gonna get when I got off Suboxone, where I'd like just hold it together as good as you can throughout the whole day, and it would just be so hard, so exhausting. And I'd go out to my car and I'd just freaking ball because it was just just was hard. It was hard for me. And you lift stuff and it's whatever. Um, but you know what? I've accepted it. That's the thing. I'm not here to complain. I'm here to just update and hopefully encourage you. Uh, cause I know there's a lot of us that are feeling just, you're feeling just like this or worse, a lot worse maybe. Um, but I, but it's fine. It is, it is what it is, dude. I mean, like at this point, I mean, 
you know, I, I try not to think about it all day. That's the thing. And that helps, dude. That really helps. So that's really what's helped today is not thinking about it. And when it comes on bad, I just pray. I just pray to God. Even when it sucks, it's just terrible prayer. Can't even really think of what else to say and get deeper. It's just like, God, help me. Help me focus on you. God, help me to not be afraid. You know, give me the strength to keep going and keep going your way, not my way. You know, if I try to go my way, it's going to be a dumb way. Gabe's way is earthly and it's usually has to do with medication or drugs. You know what I mean, that's what, that's what will help you feel better. No, not, not God. No way. Right. I mean, that's, it's just, the, it's the flesh, right? You know, anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, try not to think about another thing. Perspective, dude. Uh, let me just run down a couple little things right here. Uh, cause this always helps dude. no matter where you are in life. Uh, and how crap you feel, whatever's happened to you, it's always good to have perspective. We got to have perspective. It's easy to lose perspective in this great country and in the West. It's very, very easy to lose perspective until something tragic happens to us. And then we can understand, uh, we can relate to some things and that will happen. Tragedy will strike. And if it doesn't strike, you'll probably be the one that died and you, or you know what I mean? Like maybe you won't experience it cause you'll be dead, but sorry, I'm, I'm dark today, whatever. But tragedy will strike. That's just a fact of life, right? Uh, everyone dies. One, one out of one dies, right? Um, okay, check this out, though. Here we go. Perspective. Here we go. I got some examples for you. Talking to a lady last night for the first time. And three weeks in to her recovery, out getting off Suboxone, her dad died in a motorcycle accident. So, obviously, they weren't expecting him to die at all, Okay. Uh, I can't believe, I can't imagine how hard that'd be in three weeks off Savaka. And then that happens. I mean, it, dude, she's sticking it out, dude. I'll tell you a little bit more. I'm going to, I'm going to compile a success video or get kind of one together, hopefully. So if you're having success, freaking let me know. All right. More people, the more the merrier, right? I don't care if you're on freaking, I don't care if you're on day one or day 1000. I re it doesn't matter. Or if you're on the first hour, I don't care. I want to know. Um, Oh, there's another lady on here. I don't know, a few months ago, her granddaughter died. Her freaking granddaughter, grandbaby, okay, died. Like, I don't know, does it get much worse than that? I don't know, I don't think it does, really, I really don't. Uh, there's another guy, okay, real quick, not on this channel, but I work with a guy, his wife has cancer, and no, it's not going very good, and his wife's the sweetest freaking lady, like seriously, the sweetest lady ever, and she's suffering. She's suffering. And, um, yeah, dude, it's just, it's, it's hard, you know, and, and we, we gotta, ha we gotta have that empathy, man. We, we you know, it helps us, you know, and, and uh, I think that's a big reason why God allows suffering, man. You know, well, there's a lot of reasons. Maybe I'll make a video on that sometime, but, um, you know, we gotta have that perspective. You know what? We deserve this. That's the thing. I deserve, I deserve this. You deserve it. We deserve to go through this. I remember I said that one time and someone was like, dude, I disagree. I do not think we deserve to go through this stuff. And I was just like, well, you know, I don't know how, I don't know how selfishly you lived when you were using or whatever, but I'll tell you right now, I know I deserve this hundred percent. And I would confidently say we all do. We reap what you sow, dude. How do you, it's, I mean, you could argue this on a freaking science level i mean or you know what i mean like yeah dude freaking gonna you what you're gonna you're gonna numb your pain with freaking benzos and opiates and whatever for years and then oh no this sucks i'm gonna bitch and complain you know sorry i don't mean to be harsh i'm it's it's all it's all to myself okay um we deserve it i deserve this that's the thing is yeah it's suffering it's uncomfortable it's not fun but you know there's other people that are suffering way worse and um they didn't even, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to get into everything, I guess, but, but, uh, I don't know. Let's have perspective and just don't forget that we deserve this, dude. We got to suck it up. We got to freaking suck it up, dude. Cause, Cause this is just what it is. Okay. I got to suck it up and, 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 and deal with it and accept it. Okay. Um, you know, yeah, that's another thing, dude. I was thinking about this today and it helped me, helped me. I was driving and I thought, you know what, if I wasn't hurting right now, I probably wouldn't be doing a pretty damn good job at getting clean and trying to get clean and tapering and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, that's the thing. <clears throat> if you ain't hurting, 
And you're going to have good days and bad days. I'm, I mean, you know, if you're off, you know, Suboxone, you know, you've been off for five months and you're like, damn, Gabe says, you know, it's like, I'm having a good day today. I, maybe I'm not doing something right. Not talking about that. You you get what I'm saying in general. If we ain't hurting, dude, if you ain't hurting, if we're not hurting, man, we're just, we're not, uh, you know, if you're on the taper and you've been on it for years and you're just not hurting at all and you're stagnant and stuff, I mean, or whatever, uh, then yeah, dude, we, you need to get it going. I need to get it going. Whatever. We all, you know what I mean? So that's a good, that's a positive. Think of that, dude, when you're hurting. You know what? You're doing work. You're killing this crap, dude. You're freaking killing this addiction. You're killing that. I want to cuss. I'm going to cuss a lot, but I'm not going to. Um, but uh, so just remember that, dude. We're, we're paying the piper, baby. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. We're doing, that means we're doing the right thing. Okay, let's give it to God, right? Um, you know what, to relieve with this, I was talking to a guy today that uh, I was like, you know what, though? I told him, yeah, I did a pretty good job at covering this up today at work. But I told this guy, you know, me and him are really close and good Christian man. And anyway, has faith like a child, dude, legit. And, uh, you know, I told him, like, dude, I have so much anxiety. Like, I've even felt like the, almost that numbing, like you feel numb or like you're going to pass out kind of at times. And uh, he's like, really? You know, today? I'm like, yeah, you know, whatever. We're talking. But you know what I told him? I said, you know, I said, I'd rather have anxiety and have that, have that anxiety, have it every day. I don't know, whatever. And uh, be more dependent on God and, and uh, closer to God. If, if that's what it takes, then to be just all comfortable and feel like, I don't need God. I don't need God. I'm fine, you know, and get comfortable in life. Because, dude, I'll tell you right now, you know, like the Bible talks about, you know, you, you think you got everything figured out. You got, you don't need God, all this stuff. You need it. You don't know. You're blind. You're naked. You're deaf. You're dumb. I don't know if it says dumb. I don't know. But basically, but uh, it's that ignorance, dude. And it's, it's, and, and you think you don't need God. Yeah, you do need God. Yeah, we will be, a, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I don't want this to turn into this, but I'm just, this is what I'm doing right now. Yeah, we will be held accountable, whether you like it or not. It's not what Gabe says. I'm not, this isn't my opinion. This is what God says. This is what the Bible says, all right? Dang it. But uh, yeah, we're going to be held accountable. Yeah, there's there's a God, you know, whether you like it or not, doesn't matter. Whether you think the God of the Old Testament's mean, doesn't matter. Doesn't make, make, make him not exist, you know? Um but I would rather have that, the, have that anxiety every day and be closer to God. You know, think of the positive. Think of the suffering, dude. Maybe, maybe suffering is going to bring you closer to God. I don't know. Okay, I'm getting off. But whatever. Fired up now. Dang it. Let me have a drink of sparkling water. Um, but you want to know something? I guess I'll leave with this. When I was comfortable in life and, um, you know, I'd go to work. I'd come home, eat just ton of food, ton of unhealthy food, didn't care. Uh, I'd just come home, sit on my butt, watch movies, watch TV shows just over and over again, doing absolutely nothing with my life. I mean, yeah, working and making money. I don't know. what What is that? I mean, yeah, we need it. We got to survive now. But in the end, what the hell is it? I don't know. It's, it's really meaningless, dude. It really freaking is. I mean, other than, okay, I shouldn't say that. Be like, yeah, being an upright citizen and being an honest worker, like, yeah, God cares about that. I'm not, okay, I'm probably going a little too far, but um, that was the only time in my life where that I would do that and I felt comfortable with that and I just didn't think about God so much. And there were times I did, I'm not saying, but but you get what I'm saying, where I could just get in that flow of just wasting away and being too comfortable in life. That was never me before using, and that is definitely not me since uh, I've stopped. I can't freaking, I don't come home and watch anything, dude. I can't. I mean, I get on YouTube, I'll, you know, watch little clips of some funny stuff and, and some educational, educational stuff, you know, and that's, that's it, dude. I don't have the, I don't have the attention span. Uh, I don't, I don't watch anyone on freaking YouTube that's going through any withdrawal or has any uh, advice or and stuff, which is, Probably bad. I, other okay, yeah, I'll check out Ryan Donnelly sometimes, uh, you know. But other than that, I and I'll, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to freaking tell you why, as you guys watch me. Uh, but I'll tell you why. It's just my personal thing. So I don't know. This whatever. This was a random video. I had a bad day, but it's fine. It's really, really fine. Um, is what it is. There's going to be a lot more bad days to come. A lot worse days. Way worse. This is nothing. This is freaking nothing. So. All right. God bless all y'all. All right.
V for victory. All right. God bless all y'all and salute. Oh, yeah. You guys want to buy some paper? All right. <laughs> all right. Dude, the office is great, right? Ryan is book smart. And I'm street smart. And book smart. Okay. God bless all y'all and salute.